Hello everyone, and welcome to day 175 of playing Persona 4 Golden in real time. This series where I play with you the day in the game on the same date in real life, one day at a time. Now you may have noticed I did get a new chair recently, today to be exact, but moving on, today is Octo October 2nd, so let's go ahead and see what the gang is up to today. So the gang synced up to start us off as usual. You have the day off from school today. All you can do now is wait for Naotos to recovery. What should you do today? Well, I feel like there's a certain TV show we're supposed to watch today. Oh, hello? It's me, Chie. Hey, let's go out today. We got stuff to do, so unfortunately we're gonna have to pass on Chie today. Oh. Yeah, maybe next time. Bye. Chie hung up. Sorry, Chie, I've got TV to watch. You realize that you haven't bought anything from the Home Shopping Program this week. Maybe you should watch it. Which program would you watch? You hear an infectiously cheery song. Here comes Tanaka, over the airwaves to you. Hello everyone, welcome to Tanaka's Amazing Commodity. Grant your viewer desires! <laughs> Alright, I was actually prepared for it this time, but I don't think it- I think it made it worse than I usually do. I decided to go for it this time. Probably the wrong call, but let's carry on. This is Tanaka's Amazing Commodities, the mail order television program being broadcasted live to you. We guarantee your purchase will meet your satisfaction for a fair market price. Now, let's introduce the products available for these three days. It's Peach Battle Suit. Wear it and feel weightless. Oh my goodness, I can't believe its wonderfulness. I'll add wasabi jelly to your Peach Battle Suit, all for the low price of only 20... 30,000 yen. We've got another fantastic product on sale today. Red goldfish. Enjoy your life with this cute fish. On top of this, I'll add breadcrumbs to your red goldfish for only 10,000 yen. These products are so popular, we can only allow one order per person. Which would you like to purchase today? You can only buy one of the products offered. You currently have a lot of yen. Peach battle suit combo for 30,000 yen, or red goldfish combo for 10,000 yen. Which one will you purchase? Let's go ahead and get those red goldfish. You bought the red goldfish combo, including red goldfish and breadcrumbs. Wow, we sold through our entire stock. Thank you all so much for our participation in today's show. Today's sale is over. We will get another chance for three days starting next Sunday. See you next time on this channel. You hear the catchy song again. Here comes Tanaka, over the airwaves to you. The shopping program has ended. You turned off the TV. All right, we've got a decent amount of stuff to do, like quite a bit of stuff to do, but not a lot of long conversations, just a lot of quickly interacting with people. But let's go ahead, go into town, not go back home. So shopping district. Let's go to the shrine and talk with our good friend, the fox. This is the shrine's main building. What will you do? Let's go ahead, accept the next demon request. Make sure there is no one around and call for the fox. Fox brought you an email with a wish written on it. It's hastily scrawled in a man's handwriting. I'm scared of them, but I must get used to them. I don't even want to write the word. C-A-T-S. It seems the fox wants you to fulfill the wish written on the email on its behalf. Could it be thinking that if wishes are fulfilled, then more money will be put into the offertory box? If you fulfill the wish on the email, your relationship with the fox may grow stronger. Accept the request? Let's do it. Accepted quest 13. I wish I didn't fear cats. The fox seems happy. Alright, let's go ahead. Go. Oh, well, I need to go to the south part of the shopping district, specifically the bookstore, and talk to this guy. I see. It's hard to follow everything you read. Huh? What do cats eat? Well, fish, of course. I'm sure I'll be happy if you give it a fishing cot. Oh, have you heard about that new book that's come out? It's amazing to see an author's style grow, isn't it? The Bully Teacher series is a prime example. These books are just getting better and better. Go, Bully Teacher! The next shipment is October 12th. It's another part in the Man series. He meets God, he meets God in this one. Then what? Yeah, it sounds like it's really hard to keep up with it. But let's go ahead and leave the shopping district and go to the Samagawa floodplain. 
So let's go down and actually go to the river. And there's Lady Death, but not who we're looking for. Let's go back to the floodplain. Let's see. Oh, okay, there's a cat. Could this be the cat you've been told about? You feel like you should try giving it some food. Let's go ahead and feed the cat. Give it Inaba Trout. I mean, the guy at the metal workshop is going to be disappointed that he lost his the Inaba Trout he was so interested in to a cat, but let's go ahead and give it to him. He gave the cat food. Murful, the cat seems happy. Yeah, I, that's a classic sign. When the cat says Murful, that means they're happy. You should report back to the man in front of the bookstore. All right, let's go back into town. Shopping district. And talk, let him know the good news. Oh, did the cat eat it? I'm so glad. I know it's probably a bad idea to feed stray animals, but I'm glad you did it anyway. Well, please take this as my thanks for being so compassionate. Received the punk's way. Yeah, true punk feeding stray cats. This man is smiling innocently. I think that book I've been reading that suggested not feeding that cat was a little harsh. You should read it too. Maybe we'll only learn useless advice though. Completed quest 20. Please feed the cat. Alright, now let's go ahead. Well, it seems like he has something else to say. Books are always interesting, aren't they? Restricting yourself to a single genre is such a waste. Have you read any picture books? Don't just assume that they're for small children. They're expensive and hard to get too, but are you interested in them? I mean, I won't turn it down. Uh, I knew you would be. I'll let you have one, but it won't be for free. Hmm, okay. Have you heard of a Hard Boots? If you can bring me a pair, I'll trade you for a picture book, okay? I think that's a fair trade. What do you say? Alright. Accept a quest 34. Acquire Hard Boots. Right, please do. Just bring them to me and we'll make them- and we'll make the trade. Alright. Let's go ahead. Go back to the floodplain. And let's see if this guy has anything to say. I've gotten pretty fed up with talking to people lately. Everyone talks about the exact same things, and it's always about whatever the TV is spewing out. I'm not gonna badmouth anyone, but I'll tell ya, I don't like it. Maybe they've just got nothing better to do. Jeez, you're pretty much it. The only guy I can count on for an enjoyable conversation. You have some time? I have a small request, but if you're busy... I mean, I'll give him... Oh, just, we'll hear him out. You ever taken a, a walk around here at night? It's nice in the day and all, but at night you got a real change of scenery. I enjoy it. There's no city lights, all the stores are closed, and it's so quiet you can hear the river. The only problem is that you gotta watch your step. It's so dark you don't know where your feet are landed. I suppose I could carry a flashlight, but it kinda ruins the atmosphere. I think it'd be alright if I had a lamp, maybe. But even that would be a pain in the neck to hold, and the wind would just blow it out. So I was thinking that an eternal lamp or something might be nice. I mean, we'll see if we find one. You know where to find one? Are you serious? If I had one, I'd sure be happy. Think you could bring one to me here? I'll have a little something waiting for you in return. Accept a quest 39. Acquire an eternal lamp. Alright, I was trying to get updates about the cat, but... I mean, I guess we'll take this as well. Sometimes you find some weird things when you clean up. I found a photo of my daughter when she was small. I doubt she remembers that far back. He was so cute then, too. Oh, yes, the key? I did ask you for one, didn't I? Oh, you need some help figuring out where to look? When you think about the idea of a key, people usually guard them, right? I have a feeling it's somewhere hot and humid. I'm sorry, but that's about all I can think of. But you don't need to put yourself out. Really. Alright, sounds like she's talking about the... Kanji's dungeon. But, okay, let's check in with the cat again. It seems like it's still hungry. I feel like you should try giving it some food. Let's go ahead, give it an a trout again. Give the cat food. The cat seems happy. You can try feeding it again next time. You can't bring yourself to leave it all alone. You should come by and give it food from time to time. Accept it, quest 21. Feed the cat. Let's see if this guy has any updates. Hey, did you find that thing I asked you to get? Yeah, it was definitely at the Kanishi liquor store. I don't think there are any other places I could get it. Is there anyone else around here we can talk with? The weather doesn't know how to make up its mind around here. Kind of a problem for anyone who takes walks. Maybe it'd be better if I helped out around the store. I shouldn't leave everything up to my wife. 
are not exactly what we're looking for. Miyoko-san. Oh, d did you hear that? <laughs> well, it's okay, right? People have the right to think of their beloved. I'm getting married. The man seems melancholic about his wedding for some reason. Dang it, everything would be great if it wasn't for him. Who am I talking about? That horrendous furball. The ki- Ugh, I'm scared. I can't even say it. Those fang demons are terrifying. I mean, it does sound like a cat. So it sounds like it's our guy. But don't, don't say the C word. The man is actually physically trembling at the thought of cats. Perhaps he's the one who wrote the email request the fox showed you. He wants to overcome his fear of cats. The meowing and the whiskers and the evil little claws, it's all just so scary. Okay, his name changed, changed to Eilerophobe. I'm guessing that's fear of cats, but it's hard to keep track of all the different phobias out there. Of all the pets, Miyoko-san wants to have a cat. She said we can't get married if I won't let her have one. Ugh, why must you put me through this horrible test, Miyoko-san? You try and figure out a way to force him to overcome his fear. I mean, I think exposure therapy is probably the, the best approach, so let's bring a cat here. Stop it. Stop that right now. What do you want? Money? I'll give you money. Just get away from me. The meowing and the whiskers and the evil little claws, it's all just so scary. Alright, so it sounds like the same text. Let's see. Let's go back to the house. Alright, there's the cat. There's the cat. Ah, oh, like I just said. Will you pet it? Let's see. Yeah, we'll give it a pet. The cat has noticed you. Will it scratch you? Okay, sounds like we got the good outcome. Actually, it wants you to give it attention. Time will pass if you play with the cat. Will we spend the day with the cat? Mm, pass. There's the cat. Okay, let's bring him here instead. You decide to bring the man who is terrified of cats here. Cat! 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 It's watching me. It's waiting for me to turn around. It's coming for me. It's gonna jump on me. I'm gonna die. But I'm a man. I'm prepared for death. Well, all this because of this small cat. Alright. Alright. Let me touch you. Ah, it's eating me. Oh, I ate him pretty quickly. The man was licked by the cat and ran away screaming. Okay. Bit of a easier outcome. So, I guess we did what we could for now. Let's go ahead, go back into town, and this time we're actually gonna pass some time. And we're gonna spend some time with Marie. You're late. Hey, before we go looking for my memory, there's some place I wanna go. I wanna liven things up. That's okay, right? It seems Marie wants to go somewhere today. You feel your relationship with Marie will deepen. Spend the day with Marie? I mean, let's do it. Let's go. Marie looks happy. Hurry, let's go. Take me out. You decide to take Marie out. I mean, did I decide or did Marie decide? Shopping district, Saozai Daigaku. At Marie's insistence, you have come here to eat steak skewers. Huh? If it isn't you, Kunu Marie-chan, <laughs> we meet again. Yo. What are you doing here? No fair. You're all here without me? You could have called, you know. Everyone seems to have gathered around. You spend a fun time with everyone, including Marie. But we're the only two that get to sit down. It. Yeah, it's grown late, so you leave everyone and escort Marie back to the velvet room. Okay, I definitely didn't expect that flash mob of all of the party members, welcome but, back. you know, it's pretty welcome. I went shopping today. The fridge is full of food. Well, let's see. I mean, we've got time. I think we're pretty far ahead on reading books. I think we can spend our time elsewhere for tonight. Let's go ahead and see if there's anyone to hang out with. I mean, there's no jobs available, so we can't work on improving our tutoring job or... I mean, the daycare's not open this late either. But, is there anyone that we can just spend some time with? Alright, looks like the answer is no. So let's go ahead, go back home. 
use the cat again. Let's go ahead and save real fast. And then we'll go upstairs and spend some time reading. Or at least that was the plan. You received a text message. It's from Kanji. Hello, senpai. Do you like movies? There's this new movie out called Dakiko Story, and I'm just a sucker for movies about dogs. If you're going to see it, would you let me know so I can come too? The movie Kanji wanted to watch is now being shown at the theater. If you go to the movie theater, perhaps you should invite Kanji. I mean, that does sound tempting, but we'll see how our schedule is. So let's go ahead and do some reading for the night. The sofa looks nice for some reading. What shall you do? Let's see, what have we read yet? Well, I guess we'll go ahead and get started on the punk's way that we got today. Read the punk's way. You begin reading the punk's way. This book shows how one should live as a punk, along with some illustrations. You understand the material, but you know better than to follow the information in this book. Since you finished hyperspeed reading, you're able to read more than normal. There's still some pages of the punk's way left. You decide to save them to read next time. Alright, you know, pretty busy. A little bit tedious with all the cat upkeep, but, you know, made progress. By the way, that's going to wrap up the gameplay portion today and bring us on to Shuffle Time. Alright, today's card is the Six of Pentacles in the reverse position. Let's go ahead and see what that means fate has in store for us. Reverse Six of Pentacles meaning... The Six of Pentacles reversed can suggest that charity can, can be one way. If you have loaned someone money, you should not be expecting your money to be paid back, or your favor to be returned in the future. You should be cautious about the people you are lending money to, especially if you are not financially stable. You could also have problems with spending and giving away more than you can really afford. The Six of Pentacles reversed can also warn you about the, depth, the debts that you have. This could also mean that you are in over your head and it's going to come back and be a major problem in the future. You should also be careful of entering business endeavors during the time because you could end up with a huge loss instead of getting a return on your investment. Okay, maybe not the best time to buy this new chair, but it's done is done. The last six of pentacles reversal meaning is that there is selfishness related to giving and charity. This may mean that you are willing to give others in a way... Oh, that you are willing to... Oh, yeah, it doesn't say to give to others, but let's go ahead and assume that's what they meant. This may mean that you are willing to give to others in a way that is, that is not to benefit them, but to benefit yourself. You should be cautious that you are not just being charitable to prove you are giving or generous to others. The source of generosity should be selfless, not selfish. Okay. I mean, we've gone through the whole, like, the entire deck of tarot cards multiple times since we've been doing this for so long and there's only 78 cards in the deck. But I remember getting this card previously about it advocating for only doing only giving to charity or being charitable if it's selfless but i felt like if it's still for like a selfish reason it's still leading to charity work and so i think that's a positive result even if it's not the preferred reason for it but since then i did hear a story about this like uh it's kind of like a parable that's like told an existing story but it's about like a guy goes to a church and he's like, hey, I'm gonna like donate a lot of money. And he goes, actually, I realized that I'd only be doing it for selfish reasons. So I'm I'm actually not gonna be donating money. And the priest is like, does the hungry child know that you did it for selfish reasons? They still need food, like the sick people still need medicine. To them, it makes no difference. And so I think it's definitely like, it's an ongoing debate of whether giving to charity for selfish reason is good or not. And while I think it's definitely preferred that it is for selfless, re selfless reasons, I think whatever gets the end result done that helps people is worth doing and getting that result. But, you know, that's a ongoing debate, like I said. But either way, uh, I will say I think if you're giving or being charitable or like giving things to people or time, gifts, whatever, and you're expecting something in return, and that's the only reason you're doing it, then I do feel like you're setting yourself up for disappointment, that if you're not, if you're basically doing it to see a return, or for some favor, or hoping that fate's going to turn around and suddenly be better for you, I think that's 
not going to work out positively. I think you really have to give it freely and not expect anything in return. And that's going to be a lot more productive or likely to work out well than donating money being like, well, this is going to benefit me in some way. You know, if you donate or if you give lo even loaning money to people that you know, it's always something that can end up being very tense and cause issues. So I think you have to give it pretty freely and not expect anything in return. But I think I've rambled on enough about the philosophy or moral dilemma of donating. So that's going to wrap it up. And that's going to be another card down and another day done. So feel free to subscribe if you'd like to follow along with the journey as I do this every day. By the way, thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.